match day one. And remember, with the fact that they both drew the opening game, that means that the three points will be awarded to a winner in this particular encounter. However, if it is another draw, both teams will take one point from that particular encounter. Here is uh, Alopes for Boa Vista, Christopher and Tiamit, the uh, representatives for the Portuguese side, Alex Algacil and Pau 24 for Barcelona. And very nearly an early goal. Well, we waited a long time for a clear-cut chance in the last game and nearly had an early goal this time around. Well, a slight change of tactics, as you can see, again using that width, getting to the byline, crossing it across the face, and that near post header, which we've seen become so successful uh, in recent years in the Pro Evolution Soccer Game Series. And it almost paid off again there, just four minutes on the clock, as you said, and really, Boa Vista will be a little bit annoyed that they're not in front. Yeah, it's slightly uh, shaky start here from Barcelona because they've gifted possession away once again. Ibrahim to Falcone. Bit of confidence there to knock it back to Fabio Espino and Longley has to intervene here for Barcelona. PK towards Vidal, but he was in a congested area, so uh, Boa Vista have won it back. Gabriel Nunes, clever pass aiming for Ibrahim, but uh, Barcelona are wise to that and uh, are able to clear their lines. Rakitic now for Barcelona. Forwards it goes towards Coutinho. Looked like he may have been tugged there. The referee didn't give a free kick though. Taloka has it for Boa Vista on the halfway line. Tries to uh, send it cross field and uh, too much on it for Ibrahim and gathered by Ter Stegen. Yeah, 10 minutes gone here and just the one chance for Boa Vista FC and uh, one that wasn't taken too kindly. Fired over the top off the forehead of the big centre forward for Boa Vista and uh, Barcelona this time getting a little bit more possession now still going through the centre though aren't they rather yeah. than out wide Luis Suarez tried to slip it into Malcolm that's an interesting and, uh, clearance there from Silva <laughs> safety first I think is the best description Rose Ed for that as uh, Lionel Messi gets ready to take the resulting corner for Barcelona not a bad one as well oh, and not far Chara away a uh, consoling tap from Alex Algacil onto the knee of his teammate there that was close I just said Gerard Piquet of course the founder and president of the eFootball Pro League what a goal that would have been if he were to able to get on the score sheet I'm sure he would be loving that watching at home if that were to nestle in yeah, home territory of course with this uh, being staged in Barcelona this match day one Barcelona drawing 1-1 with Boa Vista in game one and uh, still all square in game two so very much up for grabs three points are there for the taking for both of these teams Rafael Silva now for Boa Vista again it's been somewhat cagey a couple of uh, good openings but in the main it's been a little bit edgy and perhaps that's due to how much is at stake yeah I also think we you know if we expected it to be free-flowing you know end-to-end -end stuff I think we might have been a, a little bit um, sort of uninformed because remember these are all in these six different teams we've got in the eFootball Pro League they're all you know superstars really in this game um, so be because of that everything's going to be quite cagey and you know close because at the end of the day it's really difficult to break down another team that's also full of superstars as Barcelona finally get the ball clear up towards the halfway line Mark how are they going to you know, break the deadlock here. Is it going to be down the flanks again, or do you see something else, you know, in front of you right now that you can see a way to pick that lock? Well, Boa Vista seem to uh, be content to knock it around at the back and maybe bide their time before trying to catch Barcelona out. You can see here, Sporanga is taking his time. He's going around in circles. They're waiting until they can see a gap at the back rather than just pumping it forward. And now they feel that there is a gap. Falcone to Ibrahim. Fabio Espino on the charge now. Ibrahim has uh, made the run and picks up possession now. Ibrahim gets it in. Falcone's there. Almost the opening goal. Well, they were so patient there, and that patience very nearly paid off. What an unbelievable save from the goalkeeper. The Barcelona number one to Stegen. Down low to his right-hand side to push that ball to safety. And what a strong hand it was as well. But Boa Vista really ramping up the pressure and the heat in this game as we tick towards the half an hour mark should they be in front mark they've had well, the you know a couple more chances than Barcelona really it's nip and tuck but what I am interested in is uh, how much time they're taking when they're playing the ball out from the back that certainly seems to be a different approach from them and they're making the most of some poor play by Barcelona here Fabio Espino poor touch from him though and Rakitic is able to clear so as we tick towards the end of the first half it's a free kick for... Well, they scored from a free kick in the last they game. What can indeed. Fabio Espino do with this particular one? 
is he going to have a go at goal? He's got the short option as well, but his teammate coming to meet him. Fabio Spino does take it short, gets it back now, and that's a, a bit of a waste, really, for Boa Vista. Rakitic can send it away. Luis Suarez is touched Counters to Malcolm. On. Vidal bringing it forwards, and as Adam says, the counter could well be on here for FC Barcelona. Malcolm just lost his way, though. Fabio Spino has it back. All a bit scrappy at the moment. Neither side able to keep their foot on the ball. And uh, it runs out of play for a throw. Yeah, that was disappointing. Barcelona had the chance to counter, and he just turned into trouble there on the halfway line. When uh, if he managed to negotiate that challenge a bit better, he had numbers to his left and right. But again, it's back with Boa Vista possession. It's very similar to that first game. It's it's the majority of possession coming from Boa Vista and Barcelona. Every now and again, getting a chance on that counter attack, and again it breaks down. Yeah, it does seem to be uh, two different outlooks now. Boa Vista trying to build from the back and Barcelona looking to soak up the pressure and then just hit on the counter. Merits to both of those systems, but you would probably say that as we edge towards the end of the first half, it's the Portuguese side who have just about edged it, but Vidal looking to change that, and he nearly played it through to Luis Suarez. Really clever pass there that very nearly came off. The only thing I'm thinking in terms of what you just said is the fact that because Barcelona are soaking up a lot of possession and are being able to occasionally hit on the counter, they are getting that little bit of extra space as and when they do attack, whereas with Boa Vista, every time they get the ball, there's bodies back from Barcelona, and they're making it very difficult here for Boa Vista FC. Yeah, very good point that Adam Messi in towards Coutinho Malcolm this might be the last chance at a half Luis Suarez quick passing into Messi that's when they look at their best when they fizz it around quickly and uh, nearly created an opening there Coutinho now has it for Barcelona looking to uh, pick out Vidal who's Shots got a bit on. of room here Vidal goes for the pass Malcolm what a goal what an unbelievable finish from Barcelona Alex and Pau back with a bang and we were just saying there's no real moment of quality so far today and, and was that it well it's a sucker punch for Boa Vista right on the stroke of half time Barcelona fizzing it around and then just when it looked like the shot was on and Boa Vista may have been expecting it it was the slide rule pass instead that did the damage and it was very nicely finished off as you can see here you thought Vidal was going to have a pop at goal instead slips it in it's really composed intelligent play and a cool finish as well very very nicely worked goal yeah, it was a dummy shot as well wasn't it Mark because again we thought he was going to shoot there Vidal he plays that slow roll pass and then again we thought he was going to shoot but he dummied the shot pushed it to the right hand side and then fired into that far corner the goalkeeper absolutely no chance and once again that all Spanish celebration between Alex Algarthiel and Powell there. They look like they've been playing together for years. What were we talking about? Viva España at the interval then with Barcelona leading Boa Vista by one goal to nil and the Spanish pair in the ascendancy. And remember, as things stand, that would mean FC Barcelona take three points from this best of two head-to-head -head, and Boa Vista would leave empty-handed. Still plenty to play for though, Adam. Yeah, and as those stats came up, I looked down to my right-hand side off-screen for you guys at home, but I can see our football reporter Diego Lorien taking down all of the details so that he can fire those stats and data across to you as and when the match is finished today wonderful sliding challenge there from mr gerard Pique. i won't sing his praises too much people will start thinking i'm being a bit biased so uh, back underway four minutes gone mark are they going to get back into this Boa Vista? well it's um, intriguing now because obviously they're going to have to play a bit more on the front foot as they were sort of soaking up possession and being a bit deliberate now they're going to need to take the game to barcelona but as we've mentioned before their counter-attacking play, the Spanish pair, is very, very good, and that could leave more spaces. I expect there to be another goal. Which way it goes, though, is anyone's guess. That sounds like a, a fence sit there, Mark. Well, no, I'm promising you a goal. I'm just not <laughs> telling you who's going to score it. PK will blast it upfield. Messi cushions it back to Rakitic, and uh, you can see a bit more confidence about Barcelona's play now because uh, they were giving the ball away cheaply in the first half. At the moment, they're... Um, doing a much better job but as I say that Messi runs into trouble Neres has it and now it's Tolocco for Boa Vista upfield it goes and uh, it's a turnover in midfield with Messi to Coutinho and now Suarez on the chase just wonder if there might be a tactical tweak coming up from Boa Vista who know that they've got just over half an hour left of Pez minutes to try and ensure that they don't leave empty-handed but Malcolm almost picking their pocket there yeah they'll wonder what on earth has happened they'll be a bit shell-shocked if they are to lose this game after taking the lead in that first game with only nine minutes remaining they they you know to leave with zero points from 
the opening two games match day one will be really hard to take um, and also really hard to take for Bounty 27 who isn't playing obviously Boa Vista have three players and uh, he has not taken any part so far on looking and uh, could get worse for Boa Vista here as well but Messi wasn't quite in the right place for the Blaugrana and uh, up it goes now and um, Titi in the right place to make the clearing header but Fabio Espino brings it forwards for Boa Vista midway through the second half time is running out for the Portuguese side they need a goal or else they're going to finish this best of two head to head empty handed they've got a free kick and this is pretty much very the same. similar actually it's offside that's oh. been given so it's gone the other way it looked like it was going to be a foul but it's a Barcelona free kick and uh, as mentioned here come some uh, little alterations and tweaks so uh, yeah it's around this mark, this minute mark, 60, 70 minutes generally in these matches where the changes come in. And as we said at the start, they can make all the difference in seeing out a win or indeed coming from behind to equalise late as Barcelona did in that first game. They're the ones that now lead. And uh, the formations are identical pretty much, aren't they, Mark? 4-3-3. I'm just thinking about it statistically. What a sickener for Boa Vista to concede in the last minute of the 90 in the first game and right at the end of the first half in this one. It's just maybe that slight bit of concentration going all the way through to the final whistle where perhaps they thought that the uh, game was done or the first half was done. So Karma would suggest a 90-minute equaliser then for uh, Boa Vista. Perhaps. Rafael Lopez trying to make something happen for them. Rakitic running into traffic. Gabriel Nunes has it now. It's been a really high calibre first couple of games here on match day one. And uh, still more drama, I'm sure, left in this particular encounter. Spraga to Rafael Costa, who's got away from a challenge and clips it back across goal. Fabulous save by Tushtegan. There was the chance for Boa Vista to level the scores. Will they be get a better opportunity than that? The ball got whisked across the face, right onto the edge of the six-yard box. And as you said, Falcone with a whole goal to shoot at, really. And he picked out the goalkeeper anywhere else. And it's 1-1. Mark, is that the chance? Well, it's going to come down to finishing at the end of the day. And uh, Barcelona have taken... Just one more chance than Boa Vista have. That's how tight the margins are. Dembele looking to wrap it up now to Locker. Back defending well and had to be as well because otherwise that would have been curtains for Boa Vista. Rakitic, fair play to Barcelona. Not just sitting on their lead, looking to kill the game off for good. Suarez unable to uh, reach that one and uh, it's uh, for a throw. Time running out. Are they going to make any more changes? As you can see again in this match, Boa Vista bossing possession 59% for the away team but it's Barcelona who have the ball again in dangerous territory fired across the face and Dembele just couldn't quite get on the end of it and it's uh, it's kind of getting to that moment now Mark the do or die last 10 minutes and I'm loving the fact that Barcelona aren't just sitting on their lead they are looking to push on and get a two goal cushion and uh, completely wrap up the victory in this game and also the three points from the best of two here is Munir making his way towards the area Neres with the challenge and uh, they need to get this up at the other end and they might have a chance now with Rafael Costa, Ibrahim in space as well, Barcelona have four back on three Boa Vista players and those uh, advantage in terms of numbers have done the job although Falcone nearly making the most of a poor pass to Stegen with the gather and Barcelona just need to box clever now but they saw what happened in the last game with a last minute equaliser conceded what I have noticed is uh, how well Barcelona are drawing possession on and then as soon as they get into that final third Barcelona hit them with the challenge or the interception and make it very difficult but they're allowing Boa Vista so much possession and, uh, and it could be dangerous but equally it's working so far so so far so good for Barcelona just three minutes on the clock still Boa Vista with possession with Costa Rafael Costa blocked by Dembele back to Costa again it's uh, bit tip for tap there on the halfway line and now Barcelona come away here chance to counter will they kill off the tie or will they play safe well that it's was a pretty cynical there. challenge but they've been bailed out by the fact that the offside flag has gone up so I think it's going to be a Boa Vista ball indeed it is and one last chance all eyes now to see how much additional time there's going to be of course in the last game between the pair there was four additional minutes will there be a similar amount for Boa Vista to try and rescue something and give us another 1-1 draw it would be a pair of 1-1s if they could pick up the result it has been a very very keenly contested affair between these two barely anything between them but it looks as though the superior finishing power of the all-Spanish pair is going to win the day. What would be ironic is if Boa Vista were, to able, were able to get that equalising goal, 
Barcelona had the chance to kind of kill the tie by going to the corner. The same way that Boa Vista had the chance in the first game. They didn't. They equalised through uh, Sergi Roberto. And now Boa Vista have that chance. And just making a few changes. And they've come with the four up top. And as you can see from Barcelona, they are sitting very deep there. Marshalled uh, by Gerard Piquet at the back. And uh, one final change. Yeah, last roll of the dice for Boa Vista. Only one additional minute, so barely any time for them to do anything. This has to end up in the Barcelona area if they're going to prize a point from the affair. Samu forwards, Rafael Costa, the minute has been played. Falcone's going to have to have a go at goal here. And Falcone loses his way, and that is full time. And Barcelona have done it. They have won game two, and they have won the best of two series. They take the three points. Yep, Barcelona with the first three points of the season so far. And